Good old plastic water. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> what is going on, guys? Welcome to another video. Obviously, a little bit different today, but there's a reason for that, alright? And the reason is, I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about something face-to-face. -face. Not really face-to-face, -face, because we're not in person, so, uh... Face through camera, through your screen, to your face. That's how I want to talk to you guys. I don't know. What the fuck? Point is, I want to talk about something, and that is, I want to talk to you about Skyrim. Special Edition. Game just came out, so, uh, hopefully you've had the time to, uh, buy it, play it, enjoy it, have fun with it, and, uh, get a feel for it and all that good stuff. The reason why I want to talk about this game is, well, there's actually a couple of reasons. And one of the reasons is actually the title, and it being called Special Edition, to where, obviously, in the title of this video, you could tell that I don't think that it should be called Special Edition or deserve the name Special Edition, because... Quite frankly, in my opinion, now, uh, of course, others will have their own opinion and probably disagree and probably hate me for saying this, but in my opinion, I do not believe this version of the Skyrim game is special, okay? I don't, I don't think so. I don't agree. I will get into that deeper, but first off, let's back up a minute here because before we get any deeper to the shit talking about this game, let's bring it back, let's reel it in, and I just want to say... Don't get the idea, just because I'm just upset or disagree with how this Skyrim game is, don't get the idea that I dislike Skyrim or dislike Bethesda in their games, because that is not the case at all. I actually love Bethesda, and I love their games, and I am a huge fan of Skyrim, especially when it first came out back in 2011. 2011, when it came out, I got it for... I can't remember if it was for my birthday or if it was for Christmas. I don't know. But, anyways, I got it and I played the holy fucking shit out of it uh, nonstop. I played it every day for like, I could almost say like around six months. And I just no life the shit out of that game. And I love it and I'm excited that it is back and is remastered for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. Now, obviously, it's for PC, but I mean, they got it for free and mods and shit, you know, whatever. So. PC is kind of like just whatever. It's it's obsolete. That's why it's free. So, uh, anyways, let's go back to the uh, the whole bashing part of this video, I guess. I don't know. Now, obviously, Skyrim Special Edition, it's Skyrim Remastered. That's the obvious thing about this game. Now, the reason why I don't believe it should be called Skyrim Special Edition, because, well, there's not a whole lot added to the game. Obviously, they have... Uh, remastered the graphics, uh, and they've added, added more visuals to the game, volumetric lighting, they've added volumetric lighting, they've added, you know, god rays, oh, amazing, right, it does have all the DLC, which is good, I'm glad, because I've never played the DLC, so I'm excited for that, but that doesn't necessarily make this game a special edition, now you gotta understand, this game is actually priced at 60 fucking dollars, $60, same price as a brand new fucking game that came out, like, yesterday. This game is five years fucking old. Five years. Just because they remastered it and added fucking volumetric light rays and god rays and all that shit and slapped all the DLC on there does not make this a fucking $60 game. Come on, guys. There are games out there that have come out for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One that have been remastered and uh, have been made a definitive edition and put all the DLC on there and the game is they only sell for like 20 30 bucks now I don't know why Bethesda had this idea of why they thought it was a good idea to make this game priced at $60 I don't know if it was all the hype or all the demand and people wanting a remaster of Skyrim I don't know but this game should not be called special edition just because they have fucking god rays there's a reason why it's for free on the PC. And that's because people who have Skyrim on PC have modded it to holy fucking hell. And they've got all of these improvements into the game to where it looks fucking amazing. And for people to actually get Skyrim Special Edition, they compare the Special Edition to their modded standard Skyrim. It's not that big of a difference at all. If anything, it's probably a unimprovement. Is that, a, is that a word? It's a decrease from what their modded version is. Now, obviously, yeah, of course, 
you're going to say, well, obviously, if you compare the modded version to the special edition, it's not going to be that much better. Well, I mean, it should be if it's special edition. Even if you compare a special edition compared to a standard version of Skyrim without mods, it's still not that much better at all. The only thing that is good is that the volumetric lighting that makes everything look glowing and, like, shiny, and then the god rays that makes everything, like, you know, actually, you actually see actual light rays poking through shit and all that shit, which is very, very rarely happening in the game. You rarely notice these actual god rays in the game. I think the only time that I've noticed these volumetric lightings and these special god ray effects is when... I'm actually playing when the sun is either rising or the sun is either setting, which isn't that often in the game. It's like five minutes throughout the whole day of the fucking game. If I'm playing for like five hours of Skyrim, probably only witnessing these god rays for like 20 minutes. Now, they look good, it looks nice, and it gives a whole nother layer of the game, but it's not enough to make this game worth 60 fucking dollars and call it a special edition of the game. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is to let you guys know and be realistic here, you know. We have to open up our minds to the shit. We can't just let companies price their games really high and then, I will say, fuck it, ignore it, and then just pay for it anyways and buy it. We have to understand when a game is actually worth $60 and when it's not. I have a friend who has Skyrim on PC, and he has uh, not a whole lot of mods on it. He has a couple mods. He has a couple uh, visual mods and shit, and he makes the game look fucking beautiful. Like, clear as hell, shiny, fucking nice and colorful and all that shit. And I'm looking at him like this, and this is the standard edition of Skyrim, and this is not the special edition. And I'm looking at him like, wow, this looks amazing like especially with the little mods he has for like grass and the water and all that shit it just makes the game much more realistic adds more elements to it and i'm just looking i'm like wow and i look at my special edition i don't have like these grass mods or these water mods and these lighting mods and all this contrast mods and all these colorful mods to make the game look colorful bright and you know more like a fantasy world and it kind of sucks because why didn't they put stuff like that into the uh, special edition? And then you might ask yourself, well, why don't you uh, just get mods, bro? You can get mods now on the uh, console now. So why don't you get mods, dude? You're not making any sense. Well, I'll tell you why. And that is because if you install any, any fucking mod on Skyrim, on console, it completely flat out disables all achievements and trophies. All of them. Even the slightest fucking mod. So, like I said, my buddy who has Skyrim on PC, he has a grass mod. And he makes makes it to where the game has a lot more grass and it's a lot more flush and it looks more real. So say I want this grass mod. I want my Skyrim Special Edition to look nice and flush and have grass all over the place. Nice green fluffy grass everywhere. So I install the mod. I'm like, yes, I have it and it looks beautiful. Finally. Cool. Now, when I play the game, I can't get any fucking trophies. At all. Just because I want to have more grass in my game, I cannot receive any achievements or any trophies at all. That's fucking stupid. And that's my actual major fucking problem with this game because it's like, finally, consoles have mods. We can finally enjoy the glory of mods. But once we install one single fucking mod, we can't get any fucking trophies. I don't know why my voice changed, but I felt like it was necessary. It kind of, I don't know. If you want to enjoy mods, you can't enjoy trophies. If you want to enjoy getting trophies, you can't use mods. Huh, what the fuck? We are in a dilemma here. What the shit, Bethesda? Fix it. I don't want... To go through all this shit, go through these websites, download all these mods, just to make my fucking game look as good as it does on PC, and then substitute not getting fucking trophies. What the fuck? And to actually call this a special edition of the game, it really doesn't even, like, come with anything else. It's just, like, the game. The disc in a case. Like, that's it. Ugh, at least give us, like, a special case that's fucking, like, a hard case, or, like, give us, like, a fucking, 
a little fucking Dragonborn collectible or some type of fucking figure or something. I don't know. Like, give us something to go with it if you're calling it fucking special edition. Make us feel special if you're going to give us a special edition of a game. Not just sitting there playing it and enjoying it like, hell yeah, we're finally playing Skyrim again. Yeah, man. This totally looks like the same game from five years ago, dude. Holy shit. I paid 60 fucking dollars for this? Fuck me! Like I said, there's a reason why other games that are remastered are priced at like 30, maybe 40 dollars. There's a reason for it. And I feel like Skyrim should not be a, uh, Skyrim should not be an exception, you know? I understand it's a large game, but the fucking original Skyrim for PlayStation 3, the Legendary Edition, with all the DLC, is only, like, not even 20 fucking dollars. So at the end of the day, this game is not worth $60. This game is not a special edition. It's just Skyrim with slightly better graphics. And the option to use mods, which if you do, you cannot receive trophies or achievements which is complete fucking garbage. So yeah, in my eyes, I mean, Skyrim Special Edition is really not so special after all. But I mean, you know, it's Skyrim. It's a great fucking game. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna still play it, though. Yeah. Still gonna play it. <sighs> Probably go ahead and uh, play it right now, actually. Now I think about it.